All right, welcome back to Stock Tricks with Nick for this week's breakout watch list from March 22nd to March 26th. In this video, I'll be covering uh, 16 stocks with breakout potential in this upcoming week. All of them are going to be above their 200 day simple moving average, which itself is in an uptrend. Something that I always look for is the strongest stocks getting stronger, We're not trying to just buy randomly into the pullback. All of these stocks are also 150% off their 52 week low. Again, they're the strongest stocks. Last week's winners, we got TAOP for 29%, REKR for 24.5%, and SI for 15.7%. A lot of mixed ash action in the market right now, so I'm definitely trading with cautious, caution, um, taking test size positions, 25 to 5% of my portfolio, not trying to make too much money, not trying to, to take on too much risk this upcoming week. Uh, as always, vote on your favorite uh, back on my Twitter account once you finish the video. If you enjoy the video, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on StockTwits, Twitter, and TikTok. If you guys are coming here for a specific stock, the timestamps for everything will be in the comment section. Quick disclaimer, uh, anything that we talk about is, not for uh, is for educational purposes only, not stock advice, not trading advice. Uh, please do your own due diligence while trading. Trading comes with financial risk. All right, so here's the stock lineup for the upcoming week. Um, we got the four stars are just the four stocks that you guys can vote on on Twitter for your favorite setup, but um, not going to cover each of these here because we got to break down their charts. Uh, just a quick voting example. If you're new to the channel, I do these polls each week. And then all the money that I make on TikTok, I put into a trading account, let you guys decide on how we invest the money week to week. So here are the four stocks that you guys can choose from this week, depending on how the votes are cast, is the percentage that I'll be adding into each of these stocks on Monday morning. At the end of the year, if you guys outperform me on a weekly compounding basis, I'm giving away that entire account uh, to a random person who comments on this video up here. So make sure you put your TikTok or your Twitter handle in the comments of that video. All right, let's get to some charts. First, we have ALDX. So th this one, we had a very strong move up about 120% and then based out since kind of the middle of January here. Uh, if you've been trading around, you notice that all the growth stocks have had major pullbacks, but this one has held up relatively well. So relative strength is always something that I'm looking for. Uh, right now, the ATR, average range, is starting to come in. That just measures those daily bars. So uh, you can see the volatility is getting a little bit less and less while this range tightens up here. So with this one, I'll be looking to buy if it breaks out above Thursday's high of 12.39. So right through here, a break over that would also get us over this volume shelf here. So less resistance up top if we do uh, kind of break through that point. So that's ALDX. Next we have APPS. This has been on my watch list for a while now. Uh, was on it last week as well. So you guys can vote on this as part of the TikTok trading challenge. But uh, Nice move in the beginning of February, and then everything kind of got choppy here uh, with the with the growth stocks. What I really liked about this is the first pullback set that low uh, after we punctured the 20-day moving average, rallied back up, and closed higher. And then in that second pullback, we actually undercut the low in the first pullback. So anyone who got in um, like around this area probably put stops at the low of the day on uh, February 23rd's low. All those people got stopped out. Uh, got shaken out here. We rallied up, and now we're basically in the meat of this volume shelf um, and, and holding decent action. So with uh, APPS, what I'm looking for is a break over March 12th high of 89.29 uh, right through here. That would also get us above the volume shelf. Next, we have AVYA. Similar story. Uh, zooming out here, you got the 200, the 50, the 20, and the 8, all in the right order for those moving averages. Um, holding up extremely well, relative strengths picking up as many growth stocks are selling off. But this one, we did have a pullback. Let's see. Yeah, pulled back 22% from the high, but just a quick shakeout under previous lows during that pullout pullback. So really like to see that. ATR is coming in. Uh, with this one, it'd be a little bit tough. I'd probably be looking for a break over... Uh, March 17th high of 
uh, you could wait until the the uh, the 16th high, which would be 32.47 right through here, but I'd probably want to jump it a little bit quicker. Uh, also, using that volume shelf as a possible entry point right through there. It's AVYA. Next, we have BW, and I know this was on the watch list last week as well. Hasn't given us a reason to take it off the watch list, holding up good relative strength, again, while the rest of the market's kind of shaky. Uh, with this one, I would just be looking for a break over March 15th high, $7.99, just call it $8. A break over $8 is a uh, possible buy point. When it does that, you're basically in the clear. Uh, very little resistance up top. Uh, let's see, the high, this was $8.24. So especially if it can clear 824 pretty clear skies on this one. $250.28 on the right order as well. It's BW. Next, we have CLNE, and this is another one of the stocks that you guys can vote on. Zooming out here, this went from $2 to, let's see, all the way up at like $19 uh, to start the year. So the fact that we got this pullback isn't too surprising. This might need a couple more weeks to actually tighten up to have a, a better probability of a win. But down 50% from the high there, has bounced, had a couple days of... Uh, sideways action. Ideally, this does just tighten up for another week and then we can take it on a possible breakout later. But um, if we break over the high of March 16th, which would be $16, that would be a possible buy point right through here. And that does kind of extend with a couple daily highs there. So that's CLNE. Oops, CRTO is next. So you guys are going to notice that a lot of the charts that I'm looking at all look pretty similar. You got Strong breakouts, some consolidation, um, ATR coming in, volume lightening up, people forgetting about the stock after a strong move up. And then we're looking for a breakout point about uh, as high as the, the main part of the volume shelf right there. So with this one, um, let's see, had 100% move up in about three trading weeks, pullback of 21%. So that qualifies for the high type flag that I like to trade. What I'm looking for is a break over 34.19, um, which would be the high on this day right through here. Or you could wait for the high of March 11th, which would be 35.03, uh, even less resistance up top if you wait for there, but you get the higher entry price. So always balancing those two things. That was CRTO. Next we have HIMX. This is one that I traded earlier, I guess late last year into this um into this breakout here so have some money to play on the name but did see a strong pullback to the 50-day moving average had a nice shake out there bounced up to this volume shelf so this is one where it might take a couple weeks uh, a week or so but what i, I don't want to be buying down here because when we do rally 10 percent or so you're going to hit some sellers at this point so i want to wait to clear this area so I'm just looking for the high of March 2nd high, 15.12, as a possible buy point there. So that might take the rest of the week to kind of get up to that point. But zooming out, this is a name that went from $3 to 17 So definitely a lot of power in it, but we have to give it time to get to the correct buy point. All right, now we have IAC. This was also on the, the watch, out, watch list last week. Had that pullback, second pullback undercutting the first, shaking out the weaker hands, bouncing at the 50-day, and then just continuing to tighten up here. Uh, Friday, we got a good close over the 20-day moving average. Um, what I would be looking for is break over March 10th high of 249.68 as a possible buy point right through there. That also clears you of that volume shelf as well. That's IAC, and now we're halfway through the list. If you guys are enjoying the video, please leave a like and uh, share this with any friends that are looking for some stocks to watch. IBRX, very, very strong action through here. Had a 440% move up. And then like the rest of the growth stocks, um, did pull back, let's see, 49%. So typically I don't like to trade stocks that pull back over 50% um, because you'll see sellers uh, hiding here, which you saw off the after this bounce, a big group of selling happened right here. So that first one is kind of what I'm trying to avoid um, early on during a pullback. But after we now have broken out, pulled back again, had a nice move up, and then 
had this second pullback, tighter action. Um, now, if we can break over 36.96, the high from the 18th, that would be my possible buy point on IBRX. KOPN, similar kind of looking chart and might have missed the kind of perfect entry on Friday with this lower pivot, but let's do some measuring here. Um, from middle December, we had an 870% move up, so very powerful stock. Pulled back, second pullback undercuts that low, shaking out the weaker hands. Bounces right at the 50 day moving average, great to see. Stepper, buyer stepped in there. And then price tightened up a little bit. We got over the volume shelf with big volume on Friday with that quad witching day. Um, what I'd be looking for here is if we open lower and then take out the high of the day on Friday, 1134, that would be a possible buy point. Um, otherwise, the high from March 2nd would be uh, 1186, and that would be another possible entry point. So either there or there if we open lower. KOPN. Next we have, whoops. Next we have MARA. Uh, depending on what Bitcoin does the rest of the week here, we had strong action up here. Uh, things got choppy as they do. Um, this, this one does have elevated ATR, so it's gonna be really hard to get a low risk entry point on this, but it's one of those momentum names where if it does get going, Bitcoin starts picking up, um, this can really, really move on you. So I'm just looking for a break over Thursday's high of 45.91 as a possible buy point. It looked like we we were getting that breakout and it kind of malfunctioned. Friday, we traded kind of sideways, slightly higher off the close on Thursday. But um, yeah, really looking to get over that resistance at 45.91 as a possible entry point. MGNI is next. Uh, similar action, breaking out 440% up and then pullback that bounced um, after it undercut that 20 day. And then a second, you got to hit that second wave of selling, um, undercut the 50 day, bounced back up, had some good action on here coming back up to the 20 day and then extending over on uh, on Friday. Great close on Friday, up 7%. Um, and this sets us up for a lower entry point than usual, but we have two daily highs, 51.20 and 51.13. So I would just be going with a break over uh, March 12th's high of 51.20 as a possible buy point there. It's MGNI. And now we go to the final four. March Madness, pun intended. All right, MP. We have four daily highs all at the same price. Nice lower pivot here. Um, let's see, 46.33. Yeah, 46.33 would be the high from March 15th. That's where I'm looking, especially if we open lower and we could take that out, that would be a, a very nice entry point, up 13% on Friday. Um, looking really strong, great relative strength while the market has been shaky. MVIS here, strong move out, like all the stocks. Let's see, pullback of 58%. So again, once it pulls back, that much. I don't want to take the first bounce. I want to give that some time to hit some sellers. And that's what we saw. Uh, had a pullback from there of 18% or so. Now things have started to tighten up. Could use another week on it. Um, if we take out the lows, like if, if this drifts lower, then we could use this three day pivot through here as a possible entry point. But if we just continue higher on Monday, then I'm looking at March 15th high, 1865 as a possible buy point. So right through there. But if we open lower, take out some of these lows, shake out the weaker hands, then you could set up a lower buy point once it starts to come back up. Always buying on the way out, not randomly during a pullback. And then we got PRTA. This one, I already took a trade on here through this lower pivot. I think this was the day I got in. Good action on the way out. Low volume pullback to the eight day exponential moving average. Uh, sideways action on Friday, up 2% or so. Um, so with this, it's just a pullback buy in an uptrend. So a break over Friday's high of $25 would be your possible buy point. And last but not least, we have RICK, Rick. Uh, zooming out here, we got the 200 day, the 50 day, 28, all in the right order. Uh, definitely a thinner traded name. So you gotta be careful with that. You're not gonna be able to put a full size position on this. Um, 
but something that had has been moving up nicely. Come on, there we go. 91% uh, up, and then we had a good shakeout here, 19%. So it does qualify for that high tight flag setup that I like. Uh, undercut all the lows in the most recent pullback on Friday before closing right at that eight day and 20 day moving average and right at that volume shelf. So I'm just looking for a break over Thursday's high of 68.68 as a possible buy point. Uh, you could pick another daily high to get in, uh, but what I'm trying to do is get in at slightly of a lower price because there's already very little resistance up top on a name that's been holding great relative strength. All right, that is going to be the breakout watch list of the week. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on StockTwits, Twitter, and TikTok. See you guys next week.